Google Gemini just released a bunch of free upgrades that are now going to allow you to get more personalized responses from Gemini. You could stop Gemini from lying and so much more. By the end of this video, you're going to know what all these different changes are, how you can implement them, and what new use cases they unlock. Now, the first brand new feature I want to show you is going to be personal intelligence. Now, you have to set this up on a mobile device, so I'm going to show you in just a few seconds exactly how you could do that with my phone, but I wanted to show you essentially what this does. So, what this allows you to do is pretty much connect everything that you're hooked into into Google. For example, you can hook up your Gmail, your photos, your search, your YouTube, and your chat history all to Google Gemini in order to actually make it smarter. And we can see down here essentially what that then does is when you go and search for something, it looks at all these different things and takes all of this context into consideration in order to actually give you something that is more specific to you. We can see right here that this allows you to discover hidden gems. This allows Gemini to actually speak to you in your language the way that you want to be spoken to. It allows you to narrow your options on things, find new favorites, and here's exactly how it works. So what you want to do in order to actually use this is you want to come over to Gemini on your phone right here, and then we can see that this is going to get pulled up. Supercharge Gemini with personalized intelligence. Now, I'm going to click on not now just so that I can show you where you actually find this, but what you're going to want to do is click on the top right hand corner right here, and then you're going to see personal intelligence right here. And what this is going to allow you to do is give this access to all these different things. For example, your past Gemini chats, you want to make sure that that's turned on. Connected apps, you want to make sure that you click in here, and you want to make sure that you're connecting all these apps. You could connect your Google Workspace, your Google Photo, your search services, and your YouTube, and even your Google Home or YouTube Music, and even Spotify, OpenStack, SynthID. You want to make sure that you come through, and you actually go through and connect all of these different things here. Now, in addition to that, if we come down here, you're going to see instructions for Gemini, which is where you could actually come over here and add in different instructions. We could see what I have added in right here. I'm a YouTuber. I like shorter responses. I'm always living in the future, and I want to know what is going to happen and how to anticipate it. And then what this actually does is takes that into consideration every time that I go to get a response. And then in terms of actually using this, you don't have to do anything. Like You don't have to come in here and actually turn this on. It's automatically going to take all these things into consideration when you use Gemini now in the future. And there's one other thing I did want to emphasize. And that is that this new Gemini feature is very, very strict on privacy and you being in control. So you can opt in and out of this as you please with personalized intelligent. You can actually manage all of your data and all the things that Gemini has access to. And they really want to highlight here that transparency is their top priority, which again is very different than a lot of their competitors. Now, the next Gemini upgrade that I wanted to tell you about is actually a new product prompting style that just came out of MIT. So as we can see right here, MIT just released a brand new way for you to be able to prompt LLMs, and this is called recursive metacognition. Now there's a lot of stuff here, but here's what you need to actually take into consideration. The MIT method gets your LLM, aka Gemini, to break down complex problems into smaller pieces, to check answers from multiple perspectives, to score confidences on every claim, to reflect and fix weak reasoning, and then it gets it to only only commit when it's high confidence. So if you've ever used Gemini, ChatGPT, Claude Grok, and you felt like it was lying to you, it's because you were probably using a standard prompt. For example, we could see a standard prompt right here. What's the best marketing strategy for my SaaS? But here's what the MIT style prompt would actually look like. You would type in instead a prompt that looks exactly like this right here. So I want you to adopt the role of a metacognitive reasoning expert. For every complex problem, I want you to one, decompose, so break it into subproblems. Two, solve, aka address each with explicit confidence between zero to one. Three, very Verify, so check the facts, the logic, and the completeness and bias. Four, synthesize, so combine using weighted confidence. And then five, reflect. So if their confidence is lower, or the LOM's confidence is lower, it will actually go through and identify weaknesses and retry. But we also have in here four simple questions, just skip to the direct answer and then always output. But then here is where you actually insert your question. So let's say that we were going to do a simple question like this. Here is how we would actually do this. What we would do is we would copy this prompt right here, and then we would come over to Gemini, and then we would paste this in here, but we would actually change this out right here. This is where we're gonna put in our normal prompt where we could come over here and we could grab this right here. So what's the best marketing strategy for my SaaS? And this is the way that you should now be prompting Gemini. So this is how it will actually look. And we could see 
that this is a much bigger prompt than what you would typically do. Now, this is going to give you way better results. It's going to stop it from lying in. It's just going to give you more in-depth answers. But a way that you could actually make this even better is if you come over here into your settings and then you come over here and you click on personalized intelligence right here. And then you scroll down for instructions for Gemini and then you click into this right here. And then you add this in right here. So what this is going to do is this is going to change every single time that you interact with Gemini so that it acts at a metacognitive reason reasoning expert. And again, for everything, it is going to go through and it is going to do all of these things. And what this is going to allow you to do is actually change and adopt how Gemini actually goes through. Another thing that I did want to actually correct here, because I said earlier in the video that the only way to actually set up personalized intelligence was for you to go through on your mobile device. That must have been true a few days ago when I first used this. But as we can see right here, you can now see this on a computer right here, just under personalized intelligence. Now, before I get into all the other crazy use cases that you could use Gemini for, even how you could get it to automate tasks for you, I wanted to remind you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day, you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. Now, the next thing that I wanna make sure that you're taking advantage of, since you should have everything connected with personalized intelligence, is that if you come over into settings right here, we're gonna be able to see scheduled actions. And I wanna show you some that I have already set up that are incredibly powerful. So first and foremost, most this right here CC you want to make sure that you click on learn more and then this is going to bring you over here so that you can actually join the waitlist for this because what this is going to allow you to do is get an automatic setup for what I'm about to show you so if we come over here we could see that I have a bunch of different things actually set up inside of my scheduled actions right here but here's the most important one I have this one set up for every single day to actually check my sponsor email. So we could see right here using Gmail, check to see if any of these individuals have sent me an email that I haven't replied to. If they have, please give me a summary of the email. And if not, just remind me the last person to send the email. And then it goes through and actually lists out all of my different sponsors emails right here. Now, I had to blur these out so that you won't be able to see them. But if we actually click into this, we could see what this chat looks like. And we could see every single day that this goes through and this checks each one of these sponsors emails to tell me whether or not they've actually replied to me. And what you can set this up for is for all types of important things. For example, maybe you're running an e-commerce brand and you want to know when somebody does a chargeback or you want to know when a refund is sent or when somebody wants an exchange. You could set this up so that Google or Gemini will actually scan your Gmail every single day and find emails with those keywords. And again, what you can actually get this set up to is all of the different apps that you have Gemini connected to you could have this scheduled actions across all of them. And if we come over here, we can actually see that we now have added in here HubSpot, we have Asana in here, we have MailChimp, we have Salesforce. So you could get this to take scheduled actions and automated actions across tons of different apps. Now, the next use case I wanted to show you is going to be inside of AI Studio. So this is still going to be taking advantage of Gemini, but this is actually the first time that I've seen this before and I haven't seen anybody else talk about this. So now if we come over into Google AI Studio, you're going to be able to see right here, turn text into audio with Gemini. Now you might be thinking, Rob, isn't that just text to speech? But this is actually more in depth than that because if we come over here, we could see that this recently got a brand new upgrade right here to Gemini 2.5 Pro text to speech. Now I know what you're thinking, Rob, aren't we on Gemini 3, well, essentially what happens is if we come over here and look at all these different models, they're not all named the correct way, or they're not all named the same way as like Gemini goes from 2 to 2.5 to 3, all of these actually jump around differently. Like if we look at live, we could see Gemini 2.5 Flash is a new one. But again, if we come under this text-to-speech right here, what this is going to allow us to do, which is pretty cool, so we could actually come over here and we can create podcasts from this. So if you just wanted to do a single speaker audio, you would be able to do this right here and you would be able to switch between all of these different voices that they have in here and they have dozens, or you could do multi-speaker audio where you could come over here and choose a speaker set settings for both of these. And then we could see that you could actually come over here and you could give this instructions and you can actually get this to create a podcast. And we could see down here that we have tons of different examples of audio voice assistant, podcast transcript, or movie scene script. And you could actually use this to do several things like one, create faceless content for YouTube or for social media, or two, you could use this to create podcasts about whatever you've actually learned or create personalized podcasts where if you 
don't hear podcasts about the things that you want to learn, you could actually have this go through, find a bunch of information, and then turn it into podcasts so that you can listen to it on your daily commute, on your walk, when you're working out, or whenever you listen to podcasts. Now, that last change that we need to actually talk about is that VO 3.1 recently got a bunch of new upgrades. So we could see that there's new upgrades to ingredients to video, which gives it more control, more creativity, and more consistency. So if we actually come down over here, we could see all of the different things that were actually improved. One, you can now turn ingredients and images in fun, shareable clips. So this is way better. Two, it increases the ability to actually identify consistency for your characters. So this allows you to more easily be able to use the same photo and turn it into several different characters over and over again. In addition to that, they also have better background and object consistency. They allow you to seamlessly blend textures, characters, and objects now. And if we come over here, we could see that these upgrades have been given to everything that has VO 3.1. So you're going to find this on Flow you're going to find this just inside of Gemini regularly and you're going to find this across all of Google's apps. In addition to that, for the first time, Ingredients to Video now supports generating videos in native 916 aspect ratio and you can now use this in order to generate videos in 1080p or 4K with their new upscaling project. And this is great right here because this goes through and actually advances VO 3.1 without them releasing a new model. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing having to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you a brand new AI agent that allows you to automate any tasks that you could think of. You simply tell it in plain English what you want to automate, and it goes off and builds out all the different connections, all the different nodes, and all the different workflows in order to automate that for you. If that sounds interesting, check it out right here.